Right, Shalom. Uh, first off and foremost, I want to give our praises on and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone and rule will, and uh, much peace, safety, and blessings to the offer the lick throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, um, I want to go into a quick lesson. I, I entitled it on Be About the Father's Business. All right, because um, yeah, according to the scriptures, hey, this is uh, the whole duty of man. All right, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai calls you into this truth. All right, a hey, hey, to be a, a laborer, a laborer, all right, and, and do the will, all right, and also um, coming into this truth, you brothers have to know what you're getting into, all right, what you're signing up for, and understanding that this this thing is isn't about you, all right. Everything that we're doing is is for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it. Lord will it be uh, edifying. This is Psalms 40 and verse seven. It says, think, so like you then said, I lo, I come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me. All right, I delight to do thy will, O Yahweh. Yea, thy law is within my heart. All right, and it was uh, a King David, you know. Hey, a man after Yahweh by Shemel Shai's own heart. All right. Hey, to do thy will, I delight to do thy will. And that's what you brothers have to understand that hey, you're supposed to love doing the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, you supposed to love or uh, contributing to the brotherhood. All right, being around the brothers, lifting up brothers if need be. All right, hey, that's part of the will. You ain't say just this, you know, hey, just these laws over here. Hey, the whole will. All right, written in the volume of the book. So I'm going to the uh, the word delight. All right, in the Strong's, it says to be favor. All right, it says to do something, to will, to desire. All right, so we're supposed to be desiring to do the will of Yahweh by Shemasha. All right, hey, this is supposed to be our first love, you know. Um, it says, "I desire thy justification, um, to favor him, to delight in him." All right, you know. So yeah, hey, long story short, we supposed to desire to do this will. All right, we supposed to hey put this before anything. All right, this truth comes first, and, and everything else goes around the truth. You know, this truth is is your first priority. All right. And that's something you brothers have to really put in your head and understand it. All right. This is uh, Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. All right. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. All right. And ye shall find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. All right. And, and going into... Hey, you loving this truth? Hey, the how about Shemal Shai's uh, yoke? All right, with with this truth? All right, and, and the uh, the laws that we we uh keep are not grievous. All right, if like like the uh, the elder bring out, hey, if you live hard for Yahweh by Shemal Shai, hey, everything your burdens gonna become light. All right, your burdens gonna become light in this truth. All right, not saying that you won't go go through anything. All right, but hey, it's all about building your faith up. So, well, when you go through something, hey, you already know without a shadow of doubt you're going to overcome it. All right? But you have to, hey, label hard for your how about Shai. All right? And that's not just going on the highways and hedges. That's not just putting up videos. Hey, like I said, contribute to the brotherhood. All right? Being around the brother. You know? Because, hey, that's a part of being in this truth. All right? It's not about all. It's, it's not about you. You know? Um, this is Luke 2 and 43. It says, And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Yahweh Shai tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew of it not. All right. Going to the account when Yahweh Shai and then went um, to, to Jerusalem. All right. Um, and his parents was going back. All right. They, they, they had left. And, and Yahweh Shai tarried, tarried and stayed behind. You know, we're going to get into why, why, oh, Yahweh Shai tarried to stay behind. It says, but they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey. And they saw him among their kinsfolks and acquaintance. And when they find him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. All right. It says, and when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, son, why has thou thus dealt with us? You know, it says, behold, thy father and I have sought, 
Salakia. Uh, that for the and I have saw the Sauron. All right. So basically, they was looking for him, and, and they was basically said that they couldn't find him. And this is what how I said in response to that. He says, um, and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? <laughs> you know, and they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. All right, going to basically, hey, you gonna continually, you gonna continually be busy, hey, doing the will of your how about Shimei Al Shai? All right, and that's what we supposed to be doing. That we supposed to be about, hey, your how about Shimei Al Shai's business? You know, likewise, because what, hey, through through your how Shai, we're gonna uh, obtain salvation. All right, Lord willing. Uh, this is uh, another count. It's uh, Luke nine and fifty eight. It says, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. You know why? Hey, Yahweh Shai lived a hard life because what? Hey, all the prophets live a hard life. All right, from the upcoming up to now, is truth. All right, you're gonna have a, a easy burden every now and then. Uh, excuse me. It says, uh, I meant. Your, uh, your burden is going to be uh, light, you know, here and there, every now and then. All right. But, hey, hey, you, you, you're going to have a, all the prophets had a, a hard upcoming. All right. Even into this truth. All right. Because, hey, the, the prophets of old, and hey, they got scoffed. They likewise up, like, like in the same ways that we did. All right. Hey, what it, it was even worse, you know, in, in the, uh, in, in the four times. All right. It says, uh, and he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me to go first and bury my father. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. All right? Hey, so you're supposed to basically drop everything, you know, in a serious matter, like, hey, you losing you losing your father, you know? You know, you, you losing your parents in this thing. All right? You got to drop everything and for, forsake everything for Yahweh Shai. All right? Verse uh, 61. And another said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell for which are at home at my house. So he was like, hey, Lord, I'm going to follow you, but let me go back and, you know, tell my people bye. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, no man having put his pen to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. You know, so hey, you got to be really willing to sacrifice everything once, once you come into this truth. All right, putting your hand on the plow. When you put your hand on the plow, it's no looking back. All right. At least you fall out and be like these examples that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai gave us from these fallouts. You know? Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 4 and 10. It says, We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this present time, so like even to this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. All right, so hey, we fools for the Lord's sake. All right, no matter what, he says, hey, we yeah, hey, we fools for the Lord's sake, but hey, we strong. All right, and even though we honorable in in, in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, all right, hey, we are despised. All right, because what? Hey, we putting forth the great effort that that, that these two thirds can't even uh do. You know, we we that's why Scripture tell you that the angels marvel at the things that we do. All right, because they wish they could be here. You know, in the flesh, putting forth the, the effort that we give him, you know, put uh, spreading his word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. It says, even until this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and buffeted. All right. When you go into that word buffeted, it uh, means uh, kalafizo. All right. To strike with the fist, give one a blow with the fist, to maltreat, to treat with violently and uh, contumely. Contum, con, contumely, all right. So hey, you're gonna be stricken in this truth, going through many diverse temptations, and, and you know it is a spiritual and, and a physical, all right. Because what hey, the, the the prophets of old got down, you know, standing boldly for your Habashim Al Shai. Hey, likewise today you have situations when people come up, and uh, you have people come up and scoff at you, all right. And the demons will be on these people to where hey, you're actually getting a scuffle for for standing up boldly. In the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, you know. So we go through the same things over and over and over. All right, and what they say, they say and have no certain dwelling place. All right, hey, just like Yahweh Shah in uh, Matthew nine and fifty eight. 
you know, but the son of man had nowhere to lay his head because what you gonna con- con- uh, con- constantly and continually be doing the willy how about Shimei Shai and on the move, all right, always, all right. And something that the elder brought to me um when you go into that word buffeted, all right, you can basically use the uh, the word buffet, all right, because what hey, hey when your house shot was going through these things, um when 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 they was uh crucifying them. Hey, it was a it was a whole bunch of people around them. Like uh say like when you go into buffet, alright, buffet is uh all you can eat, you know? Hey, they he had a multitude of people around him, hey, despising him, beating on him, uh yanking his beard, spitting on him, you know? So you can go through all many uh different diverse temptations and it's true. Alright, and that's why you have to really know what you what you're getting into when you come into this, alright? Um, this is 1 Corinthians 4 and 12. It says, In labor, working with our own hands, being reviled and blessed. We 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 bless, so like being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as filth of the world and are the off scur of all things until this day. All right, because what? Hey, we 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 suffering righteously in the name of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, because hey, us brothers, we, we actually know what we signed up for. All right, to do the will and, and righteously, because what? Hey, it's more than just just oh, uh, hey, gaining women. All right, hey, Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is building us up to be leaders and and uh, a governing our nation righteously. All right, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, that's what we're being built up for. All right, so hey, yeah, you're gonna suffer, and it's true, but it's worth it, you know. Don't suffer because, um, uh, you, you want to impress somebody. No, if this is not for you, then leave, you know. Don't force yourself in, in, in standing the truth. If you feel, you know, in, in your spirit, this is not for you, hey, so be it, you know. Go fulfill your life, all right. Go do what you want to do. This is a uh, first. Timothy 4 and 14. It says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Alright? Hey, you supposed to be be don't shun away that, that light that you have by Shima Shah delivered unto you. Alright? Hey, this this is the, the, the best gift that anybody could, could ever have. Alright. And, and it, it coming from from you know hey, just me just me speaking in general, you know, as a quick testimony because hey, you can be you you could be a heathen, you know, but what? Of the uh, of the, uh, the 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 chosen nation, hey, you got a chance to be of the elect, all right. So why would you ne- neglect the, the this beautiful gift that you have by Shemuel Shai a hey, stored up for you, all right? It says which was given thee by prophecy, all right. Hey, it, it was ordained from the beginning, you know, that you would get this gift, but you have Jake's want to neglect the gift and, and do what they want to do, all right. It says with the land on of the hands. Of the Presbyter, Presbyter, all right, and that's uh, the elders, all right, and, and that goes to show you have to follow order because if it went for the elders of Great Millstone, hey, through your Hawaii Shimmy outside of delivering this truth to you, hey, you'll still be a nigga, all right, you'll still be the average nigga in the world, all right, and that's why you, you're not supposed to ne- ne- neglect this gift, all right, that was given to you. It says, Meditate upon these things, give thyself wildly unto them. That thy prophet profiting may be may appear to all. Alright? Medi- meditate upon these things. Alright? Hey, hey, take heed to this truth. Alright? Don't just read the scriptures. Apply them to yourself. Alright? It says, take heed unto thyself. Alright? And not going into uh understand leaning upon your own understanding. Alright, because that's what a lot of Jakes in this truth do. All right, they want to have their way. No, hey, hey, examine yourselves. All right, examine yourselves and unto the doctrine. Hey, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. All right? So that's what you're supposed to be doing. Hey, examine yourself to, to, hey, to see if you are in the faith or not. All right? So that you can save, save uh, hey, yourself and, and hey, your, your flock under you. All right? And that's 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 really just it, you know. Hey, you got to be about your how about Shimei Shai's business, and hey, even hey, as the scripture says, strive strive for the truth even unto death. All right, you got to be willing to take the plunge, just like your Shai took the plunge for us, so so that we could be adopted back into this in this uh, truth, all right, into this fold, you know. 
So with that, hey, Lord willing, this quick lesson was uh, edifying to any Akim out there. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double lines to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that rule will. All right, from El Tahar on down. Um, from much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully they push this truth throughout the full winds and sincerity and diligence. Shalom.